Create a new image, file new. Make the background colour white. The size of the canvas clearly depends on the size of the text you wish to use. You should also match the resolution PPI setting of the document where you intend to insert the 3D text. Make sure the layers panel is open so that we can see and identify each layer as it's created. Using the text tool, enter the text that you wish to make into the floating logo. For best effect, you should choose a font that has thick letters. Remember that the GIMP puts the text into its own text layer. Move the text using the Move Layers and Selection tools so that it is centred in your canvas. Merge the text layer with the white background layer layer merged down. You should now have one layer with black text on a white background. Invert the black and white colours on this layer. Colours, invert. Blur the image a little. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Use a setting of about one pixel for each hundred pixels of width. We're now going to create the fill for the letters in the text. You can choose any texture or colour you like and even a photograph and that will be covered in tutorial too. We're using an interesting effect here called Plasma. Create a new layer, name it Plasma and make its layer fill type be white. Make sure the Plasma layer is selected then choose Filters, Render, Clouds, Plasma. The default settings should be fine but you can change them if you wish. Now we start the three dimensional effect using an effect called bump mapping. Make sure that the plasma layer is selected then choose filters, map, bump map. In the bump map dialog select the background layer as the source for the bump map. The remainder of the default settings are fine but you're encouraged to experiment with them. Add a layer mask to the plasma layer. Copy the background layer containing your text. Select the plasma layer's layer mask and paste. This will create a floating layer. Anchor this down into the layer mask. Create a new layer, layer, new layer. Name it color BG and make its layer fill type be white. Move it below your plasma layer using the arrows at the bottom of the layers dialog. Select a suitable colour from the foreground colour menu, then fill this colour background layer with this colour. You should notice that the image is not very sharp. We'll fix this now. Select the layer mask from the plasma layer. Choose Colors, Levels. Play around with the triangles that set up the input levels. Remember, the aim is to make the transition areas appear sharper. Now add a drop shadow layer. To do that, select the background text layer and turn off the visibility of the other layers so only this layer can be seen. Use the Select Regions by Colour tool, 
click on the black area on the background layer to select the black areas. Now remove the black. Edit Clear. Then select None to deselect all of the image. Now create the shadow by using Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. Offset X and Offset Y should be around 8 pixels and the blur radius about 10 for best effect. The drop shadow layer should now be moved up above the color background layer and below the plasma layer using the arrows at the bottom of the layers dialog or drag it. The background layer can now be hidden. Click the eye for that layer. The file can now be saved into an appropriate format for use.